The retina is like the film of the camera of the eye. And the blood vessels that supply the retina with oxygen and nutrition start growing from the optic nerve in the back of the eye and don't reach the edge of the retina until a little bit after term, generally. Like everything else in preemies, the blood vessels have grown partway and they have to grow the rest of the way to catch up. Um, and usually that's what happens. They grow sort of like roots from a tree that are growing along the inside walls of the eye and everything ends up fine. But sometimes the blood vessels, instead of going flat along the wall, the eyes start curling inwards. And if they curl in enough, they'll start pulling on the retina. And if the retina gets pulled on too much, it'll, it'll pull the retina off and cause a retinal detachment. Unfortunately, once the retina is detached, the, the visual results tend to be suboptimal, not so great. So our goal in, in retinopathy and prematurity is to try to avoid or prevent the retinal detachment from happening in the first place. And to do that, you have to get those blood vessels that are trying to grow out of control to stop growing. So uh, what we want to do in, in preemies that the blood vessels are, are growing out of control is to turn off the signal. So how do we turn off the signal? It, basically three ways of doing it that, uh, that can be used these days. One is cryotherapy or freezing therapy to freeze the areas of avascular retina and basically kill them off. That works, but it's a little bit of a heavy-handed treatment. So the, the treatment that succeeded that was laser therapy that you use laser to kill off, basically laser off the, the avascular retina, and that turns the signal off. The third treatment is something called avastin. And avastin is a chemical that turns off the, the growth signal, so it's a growth factor inhibitor. Um, it has to be delivered just where we want it, because obviously the baby's still growing, and we don't want the blood vessels to stop growing in the brain and everywhere else, so you have to have to deliver it right to where the blood vessels are growing inside the eye. You can't do it intravenously. So what we're doing today is injecting a very small amount of avastin directly into the center part of the eye. Um, and uh, that has the advantage of being a very quick treatment. So for the extremely small babies that, like we have today, um, the, it's a just gentler, faster treatment, less anesthesia issues. and. Um, and you can potentially get the job done without sacrificing as much peripheral retina. And basically, it's at least you're trying to buy some time. Get the blood vessels to stop growing now, and as the uh, medication absorbs, the, the blood vessels will start to regrow, typically. And, hope, and we hope that they, when they start regrowing, they regrow in a more normal fashion. There aren't too many places that do it. Today will be the first time we that this treatment is performed uh, at Christ Hospital. So we're very excited to bring this new treatment to, to our patients here.